So uh, the best introduction I can make uh, to Elizabeth is Elizabeth um, is a filmmaker. I, I'm not going to try and tell, uh, tell everyone. Um, I, when I watch your work, sometimes I think uh, documentary, sometimes I think avant-garde um, and some narrative. I see a, a, lot of, uh, a, a lot of different styles of filmmaking uh, that you do. When you look at your work, do you just consider yourself a filmmaker? What do you... Yeah, that's a good question. Um, sometimes I feel like, well, maybe I'm a videographer. Sometimes I'm more of an active um, role of um, more of a filmmaker. Um, I really like collaborations. So um, I like working with people and um, kind of letting things unfold. So in that way, I feel like it's a documentary, uh, documentary style sometimes, um, kind of setting up ideas and parameters and having dancers or just regular people kind of um, do movements or um, just kind of, yeah, let things unfold. With this quarantine, um, since I do collaborate with my husband, Steve, a lot, um, on different films. Um, we decided that we would make a film about our new four month old baby. Um, so that's been kind of fun to just grab the camera um, since we have a lot of time at home now um, and just take those quiet moments and uh, focus in on the baby or just things around the house or the backyard and the springtime blooming. Um, so yeah, things like that just being present um, and with all the time we have at home now, that's, um, we have a lot of uh, that subject. Yeah, well, okay. first off, congratulations on the new baby. It's so sweet. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> um, and it's kind of different being, uh, you know, you you being able to experience this time at, at home with your child and then turning your camera on your child, just, do you have a direction? Are you just, um, are you just like, what, let's just see what kind of footage we can get? Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about my process. And um, and maybe it's because my background is a, as a visual artist. I grew up uh, drawing and painting. And um, so all of my ideas start with drawings. Um, so it's more of just a feeling or an emotion, an emotional sense that I feel that I want to communicate. And it's so it's almost just an idea that starts and I try to, I definitely do try to put that emotion onto the viewer. I want the viewer to have a certain question or a certain um, sensibility, um, but it might not also always be a story or just um, things are usually left pretty open-ended and unresolved, I feel like. It's just a kind of a, an emotional I think someone described my work as emotional landscapes. You both, you and your husband are creatives and yeah. being stuck at home with a, a, another creative, has that, has that pulled any uh, f friction or, <laughs> or issues or all, is it all just? Well, that's a great question. Um, yeah, being married to another artist is, it's always exciting. <laughs> Um, and we, because we have worked together, um, a goldfish documentary was our first time like collaborating, um, uh, both as artists on a project. And then we did recently a Wilbur, um, a film about Wilbur Newald, <clears throat> uh, an artist in town. And that was the most recent thing. And, um, so it was good that we've both kind of been fresh off of collaborating recently. Um, but, uh, yeah, it definitely causes some, sometimes, you know, we both need to have our time every day to have at least five minutes of doing something um, just for ourselves. Like Steve is working on a collage at the kitchen table and it just stays there. It's just always there's stuff all over the kitchen table. Always. So if we eat lunch, we kind of have to like move the collage over and just make sure that we don't get any like anything on it. But um <laughs> So, but yeah, for me, it's like, okay, you have that, you know, 20 minutes, let me have like this time where I can just get out my sketchbook and sketch something really quick or write in my journal. But um, yeah, it's, it's kind of just a balancing act and we both understand that feeling of 
needing to just release some creativity. So in some ways it's good and um, that we both understand where the other one's coming from. Uh, one okay. film of yours that really <laughs> connected with me is, oh, yeah. especially now, is Sequester. <laughs> Sequester to me is, again, when we're talking about pulling things out of a film that um, maybe that weren't exactly intentioned when you made it because you made it before the, this quarantine and, and the coronavirus and the COVID-19, is that when I see it, it's all I can think about. And I put it in us trying to keep the COVID-19 out of the house. <laughs> but the COVID is this, uh, you know, these balloons that we can now actually see that no matter yeah. how hard you try, they keep forcing their way back in. And maybe it's not just out of the house, uh, literally, but figuratively as in trying to, uh, you know, when you turn on the TV, it's all you see, right? Mm -hmm. Like you can't get away from it no matter how hard you try. And I think that's what's powerful about a film, you know, your, your, your films is because of that subjectivity that you can, every time you watch, you might pull something different out to it, right? You know, I mean, yeah. and is that okay? Is that okay as a filmmaker for someone to be like, uh, uh, for someone to see something completely different than probably what you ever even intentioned? Yeah, I know. It is so strange to look back at things and think like, wow, that's really, in light of where we are now, that's a really strange video to see things again in a new way. And um, I think that's wonderful if something kind of has a new life to it. Um, because yeah, that, I mean, looking back at that film now and that series, I did a lot with balloons, just like, um, you know, not helium balloons, just like regular balloons and they would float around and they were all kind of about breath and air. And now it's just really weird to think of that in terms of a, I mean, a respiratory illness that we're, I mean, I constantly feel like, is it in the air? Like, am I walking outside? Like, should I be here? Like, are those particles? It's just a really weird thing to think about. And I'm sure in some ways it's like all of these changes that we're experiencing, I'm, artists will all be influenced by this, like I, with making things going forward. I, I know I certainly will when we're kind of experiencing this strange feeling of our surroundings and um, but yeah, the sequester video, um, that it, it was a very funny video at the time, but now it seems more like ominous or a little more. <laughs> a like... little more ominous. Yeah, it's, it's funny how things can change tone depending on where you're at in life, right? Like that's, and that's <laughs> what's great about art and film, you know? I mean, you can look mm -hmm. at a new piece of art and, uh, from one week to the next, even though the, you know, the, the subject might, uh, the, the object right, might remain the same, the, sub, the subjectivity mm. re changes, right? And that's, that's what's yeah. uh, really, really cool. Yeah. Um, what am I missing? What, what would you like people to know about um, you or your work or where they can see your work if... if uh, well, not, if yeah, I can anyone. say um, the Wilbur Newald doc documentary, I'm going to say that thing again. The Wilbur Newald documentary got into the Kansas City Film Festival, which was supposed to be I guess this coming weekend um, in a theater, but of course now no one is, wants to go in a theater and we can't congregate, so it's gonna be online. My work is on my website, elizabethstaling.com, and I post a lot of things on Facebook or my Instagram, at Liz Staling.